Is that Boston Reed in the, in the, yeah, that's definitely him. Is he wearing his fucking aviators? I gotta make sure not to shoot those. No, I already grabbed him. All right, Boston Reed is dead. Definitely dead, though. So. Love to all and welcome everybody. My name is Black Hollow and this is Ghost Recon Wildlands. Guys, we are back and it is finally time for the finale. We're here to finish Kalani and get Boston Reed once and for all. Uh, if you guys remember at the end of the last episode, we infiltrated a truck depot and we got some intel on a convoy that was running through, uh, that was run God, knocking over the fire barrel is not very safe out here in this arid climate. Um, there was a, uh, uh, a bit of intel about a convoy that was running through Kuwani to Brazil, uh, with a large shipment of cocaine, about four tons of it, according to the intel. Um, and, uh, <laughs> Okay, true story. End of the last episode, I stopped the recording and I started just dinking around, you know, like trying to hit enemies at, you know, super far distances. And I saw a convoy rolling down the road. Well, I decided to shoot the HDI at the, uh, at the convoy, at the lead vehicle. I wasn't recording this, by the way. I shoot the lead vehicle. The lead vehicle blows up uh, and the convoy crashes into it behind it. And everything just starts this big chain reaction. You know, rebels killed, civilians killed. Just everything's blowing up GTA style. And you want to know what fucking happens? The cocaine convoy comes through and gets blown up in the chain reaction. I could not believe it. My jaw hit the floor. Thankfully, though, the uh, uh, the wonderful dudes over at uh, Ubisoft and uh, Wildlands have given us a replay feature. So I went ahead and initiated that convoy uh, to be replayed, which I think it might have disabled, possibly. I think I need to queue it up. One more time. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. I, it Rico doesn't surprise me. There we go. Shipment of cocaine is being transported by oh, there it is. Brazil. Okay. I probably sure just, yeah, I didn't see it. Don't reach the border. Okay, make sure those trucks don't reach the border. Yeah, I'm going to do this for the second time, but this time I'm actually going to do it. I swear to you guys, last time I was just trying to have a little bit of fun just dinking around well, like in my off time, which I almost never do on this game on the PC. I like to keep everything either on stream or with you guys in the uh, in the videos, but uh, that was, I, it was the funniest fucking thing. And what I, I suppose what made it funny was the fact that I wasn't recording. Uh, and the fact that, uh, you know, I just, I j it just happened. Right, the, the convoy just drove right into my spontaneous explosions. So, uh, I don't know. We're going to have a chance, though, uh, to redo it this time. I got to fly really low to the ground to get over there um, and uh, and avoid any SAM sites. So, to talk you guys through kind of what my plan is for the day, obviously, avoid getting shot down on the way over there. But once we actually uh, get eyes on the convoy, I'm going to try and see what the what the layout of its pathing is obviously it has likely a very a very large path through kuwani so that that oh no oh that's bad and i don't know if i can fly low enough to evade it yeah i don't think i can't i think yeah it's just gonna shoot me from right here run boys run oh boy is the missile still coming in no it's not okay well that's really good where the hell is the uh where is this sam site located at because i think if I wanted to, I could probably, hang on, let me see here. It looks like this is obviously a base of some kind. Let me, yeah, let me back out. Where is this SAM site? Because I'm just getting, there's that fucker. Okay, let me go ahead and just take this guy out right, uh, oh, come on. There's got to be a good spot for it. There's got to be a good spot. Maybe if I get a little bit closer. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want to do. Bye-bye, Sam Sight. See you later. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take the chopper over now with some peace of mind. And um, again, once I find the convoy, we'll be able to figure out, you know, how exactly... Uh, team, you better get the fuck on the helicopter right now. Uh, we'll be able to figure out how exactly we'll launch an assault onto this guy. Uni Dad, they're going to be gone in just a second. I'm not too worried about them. I just want the ability to fly through this fucking area without getting shot down. Looks like the convoy is making its way into some sort of a town or something like that. Um, I, I believe that that is the airstrip where we launched um, the, uh, the ATC mission where we intercepted that fine... Uh, that fine fellow up in the tower. I think what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm going to make my way out to um, this stretch of road right over here where it kind of goes in this long straight stretch. Um, I'm going to go past the airstrip where we got that medication convoy uh, about two episodes ago. And I'm going to set up a big ol' ambush right here uh, for the convoy. Now, I don't want any civilians to get caught up in this. So I think what I'll do is I'll set the bird down right over here. Uh, let me go ahead and also get into my different outfit uh, just to make sure that that way I am as 
Uh, there we go. I think that that, no, no, that's not the one that I want. Special outfits number four. There we go. That's the one that I want right there. Uh, make sure that I'm as, uh, as, as incognito as possible. Um, and then I think I'm going to call in a pickup truck as my, as my designated, um, booby trap vehicle. So let me go ahead and call in a pickup truck. It should be somewhere fairly close. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, the convoy is still about a kilometer and a half out, so I have some time to prepare. Uh, but I do have to get this ready as soon as possible. Uh, I think I'm gonna stage this truck right here. That should work for me. Let me go ahead and exit the vehicle. Now, I'm gonna get C4 out. As much as I would like to use mines, I think I'm gonna go on C4. Team, why don't you go back over by the helicopter over there? I can work with you in just a second. I'm gonna need to spray paint my weapons as well. Hopefully, I have some spray paint. Can I help you? You wanna, you wanna maybe move over there? You know, you wanna go, you wanna go over there? I don't need your help. All right, buddy, you just hang here, I suppose. Uh, let me go ahead and get all of the C4 loaded up on this bad boy. We're gonna get a big explosion. Actually, it looks like I only have two pieces of C4, unfortunately. It should be enough to get the job done, but damn, that's a little nerve wracking. I don't understand why this guy is not, Move dude. There. Come on, let's go. I Move your me. butt. Thank you. Okay. Um, we're gonna wait for the uh, we're gonna wait for the convoy to get a little bit closer, and then I think I'm gonna track it with my binoculars. Actually, it looks like it's within range, for the most part. Yeah. Here we go. I've got it. It's got rendered in, Weapons and I can free. watch Let's it moving. Weapons free? No, 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 no. Weapons free. Fuck it. Get over here. I have a trap set up, you asshole. Weapons free. I never said weapons free. Okay, we're gonna wait for this sucker to get right up against our truck. Where's where's our truck? It's right over here. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have a solid line on this guy. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna get a drone out actually, and we're gonna get a bird's eye view of this. And I think just to make sure that this thing is completely destroyed, I'm gonna call in a mortar strike as well, uh, just in front of, so that anyone driving through is gonna get toasted. Uh, it looks actually like there's some rebels. Helping escort it. So this is going to be, this is going to be interesting. We have civilians moving through the area as well. Oh, come on, guys. You can figure it out. Go around. Go around. Come on. Go around the fucking. Okay. All right. It looks like they're not going to be going around. Uh, so I may be able to take advantage of this right here. We're calling in a mortar strike here. Let's see if that'll hit them. It looks like they're moving. Okay, so we're getting ready to blow it, but that might be enough right there. Okay, convoy's destroyed. We're going to go ahead and blow this bad boy up right here. And, oh, come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Blow up the... Uh, why, why, why it no blow up? Why is it not blowing up the... There we go. I can't blow shit up in the drone. That's unfortunate. All right, I hit him once. Fortunately, he's still alive. Both those rebels should be able to clear him out if the vehicle explosion doesn't get him. But I think that that should be it. Yeah, they're going to kill him right there. Oh, man. Vehicle explosion and the rebels have not killed him. So I'm going to need to assist with this. Man, that, you know, it could have been a little bit cleaner. But at the end of the day, I'm just fucking happy I got to do it on my own. How the fuck have none of these guys taken that dude out? Uh, Looks like this guy is still right there. I don't have a shot on him, though. Right he's there. There we go. He's in. He's in the fire. I don't understand how he's not dying from that. I'd probably be dying from that, but I don't think fire actually does damage to either NPCs or anyone else. Looks like that guy might try to. Is he trying to surrender? Is he trying to surrender? No, 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 no. no. You're not getting out of here. Yeah, he's dead. Good. All right, he's dead. He's dead. Oh my God, he was trying to jack that vehicle from the civilian, but I wasn't gonna let him do that. You guys, we took out the convoy and we actually didn't legitimately. <laughs> I feel really bad that we didn't get, you know, like the yellow icon and stuff like that, but that's okay. We got it on a replay. Even I felt gypped on my first playthrough of that, but uh, either way, we're gonna make our way out to the next location. Not sure where it's at, but we'll see. It actually doesn't look like we're gonna be traveling too far, you guys. We have a weapons crate right over here, and this is gonna be for one of the rifles. Uh, that I would really like to utilize. I think with the uh, with the salt piles, I'm gonna go ahead yeah, and get my ghillie suit on as well. So let me go into the loadout real quick and throw that bad boy on because I fucking love this thing. I worked hard for it. I want to utilize it now. Uh, we have several guys here as well uh, that we're gonna have to mark and take out all together. And it appears to also God, offer us. Yeah, chopper. we have got a uh, we've got a gasoline raid here. So there should be a pilot just ready to jump in this thing and take off. I'm fairly certain. Yeah, there he is with his stupid fucking headset. 
Uh, we've got these guys over here. He's always so easy to spot. He's just the one in the wife beater smoking off in the corner with a headset. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the rifle that I am after. It is a, uh, it's a bolt action bullpup design. Uh, and it has a high caliber round as well. So I'll be able to use that to take out convoy drivers without actually harming the vehicle itself. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, um, getting a position. my getting team a position. on these guys. And then I can probably clean up the other two and then move on the other guys. So let's go ahead and take long range out here. Let me make sure I have a shot on both of my intended targets. And let me make sure that none of the other guys see me as well. Oh, this is, oh my goodness. This is, yeah, this is pretty tight right here. Um, I think, I think that this is when I make my move right here. Okay, here we go. And boom, boom. There we go. Okay, he's dead. Beautiful. That guy's down. Let me go ahead and take that guy out and all dead. Beautiful. Beautiful. Everyone is dead. Perfectly clean. Fantastic. Oh, we have Uni Dad coming in. Oh my gosh. I got a weapons case here. Okay. Are they gonna see any dead bodies? Still hoping they don't. No, they're driving right on by. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was perfect. Okay. We've got the weapons uh, case right in here. I'm just going to get some supplies uh, for the time being. We'll marker, and then so we'll the go and snag that sniper. It's going to be really, really handy to take out, you know, drivers, pilots, anything like that uh, to where I don't want to damage the vehicle. It's a much more powerful round than the standard snipers, but it's not overkill. Now, where the hell is this thing? Is it right here? In the yeah, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and grab this. We have got the SR1, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic. Let's grab the, uh, let's grab the chopper. Oh, wait, we have intel over here. Let me grab this really quick. And, uh, unfortunately, it's still not showing up. I haven't figured out why that doesn't show up anymore. Uh, there's a care package that came in by airdrop, and here's the location. All right, we've got we all of the locations of, uh, side missions and whatnot to help us out, uh, with the, uh, with the rebel support. It looks like we've got Unidad right it. under, over us, so I gotta be careful with that. We have two kilometers to take this chopper. Hopefully, I don't get shot down. We're gonna do our best. But at the very least, we've got the rifle. Phenomenal. We made it without even getting so much as a tiny tick on the radar. Let me go ahead and set this bad boy down. And they can use the fuel very well, I'm sure. Nice. 2,500. We've got so many supplies. It's not even funny. So many supplies. That's a really nice shot right there. Um, all right. So now the next place to go, I think, is going to be... Uh, let me see here. Is it this one right up here? Yeah. That's going to be the extended mag for the SASG-12. It only takes it up to 10... 20 is down in like Medea Luna, something like that down here, or not Medea Luna, but um, I think uh, Libertad or something. I can't remember, but we're going to have to upgrade it to 20. Eventually, for now, we can just go to 10. Uh, I think that this is the scope down here. Yeah, that's going to be one of the scopes. Uh, so we'll go on this guy, and then we'll go up here for the extended magazine for the P-12. Unfortunately, it says right there that it's a 15-round magazine. I'm hoping that it's actually 20, because that's what it says in the actual handgun thing. It may only bump it to 15, but I'm not bitching. It's going to be a good one either way. So let me go ahead and mark this. We'll make our way up there. All right, we're on the outskirts of the base, and it looks like my friends are marking a few of the targets. Let me go ahead and deploy a drone and see what kind of enemy activity we have. It looks like maybe only four to five enemies in the immediate area. It looks like two of them are just chilling right there. Going to have another one right out here. He's the captain. Uh, then I've got one guy right there and one guy up in the gunner's nest. I'm going to try to take those guys out so that they don't get any sort of unique positioning on me where I'll have to react. I would rather act and try to keep these guys on the ropes. Uh, looks like that's possibly going to be most of them around the immediate vicinity and I have no interest in uh, in getting any farther into this base than I need to. So let's go ahead really quick. I think take this bad boy out right there. There we go, straight through the heart. And now I'm gonna take out both of these guys. I'm gonna go do a three round burst for this. Um, I should be able to do it fairly easily. Yeah, let's just go ahead and pop up. We'll go on the heavy first, pump him full of lead, and then go on the other guy. Here we go, and beautiful. Both dead. A uh, little bit of a suspicion there, but uh, suspicion rather, but not much. It looks like we got the captain right there. He is out in the open. So I think what I'll do is take that guy out, take out the, fuck, I clicked and then I just like mashed the click. I swear, sometimes, it might be because I put V-Sync on. Sometimes like weird things can happen with the uh, frame rates and stuff like that. I might try to test it out later. It looks like that guy just got marked by our friendlies. I'm going to take this guy out with my sidearm. Here we go. And 
Dead. Double tap to the head. All right. Accessory is going to be right over here. Case. Very, very nice. We'll go ahead and awesome. take this bad boy. I can put this to use. And now we can use that on the shotgun. That is going to be so much better than just a five-round magazine. That got so old sometimes, just having fucking only five rounds. And it's like, oh, hang on. I just got into the heat of battle, but let me reload. It's like, come on, man. All right. Let's make our way back to the chopper, and we'll, uh, we'll head out to the next location. I think what I'm going to do is now go for the... Yeah, we'll go for this magazine out here um, and, uh, and and get it for the sidearm. Ooh, this one's looking a little bit more fortified, and it looks like it also is... Oh, my God. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Unidad base that I blew up the... Uh, <laughs> I blew up the SAM site at earlier. Oh, my goodness. All right, we're going to have to deal with this in a very creative way, I would imagine. Let me go ahead and patrol the perimeter and just see what I can find in terms of weak spots that I might be able to exploit while... Uh, trying to get into this base doesn't look like there's going to be very much except for this magical doorway right over here oh my god this is uh this is literally exactly what i was hoping for and couldn't have been in a better position i was actually thinking that i would get a little bit of a shittier entrance but no this is right where i need it to be hello okay he's dead didn't realize the guy was going to be right there I thought the heat signature was only one person, not two. All right, we've got this guy right over here. And he's pretty out in the open, pretty free. Let me go ahead and take him out. Um, looks like we've got another guy that might have... No, he didn't hear anything. He just got recently marked. He does have friends close by. I think the other guy is up in that... No, he's right here. Oh, my God, I'm glad I saw this. All right, let me get this guy. He's dead. And now I can turn around on this guy. But it doesn't look like he's seen anything. Let me go ahead and rotate just a little bit, and we'll get him right here. Beautiful. Okay. Now we have a free and clear path to the weapons case, at least I think. Most everyone else may be sleeping right now. I'm just going to sprint across. Try to take cover right here. There we go. We got it, guys. We've got it. Fantastic. Let me get some ammo, and let me get the accessory. We'll apply this immediately. Fantastic. All right, let's see here. We have got... Uh, parts, magazine, it is the 20 round magazine, fantastic, alright, let's go ahead and reload this bad boy, oh, come on, weapon model load in, there we go, okay, it said 20 on the, uh, on, on the, uh, the menu, it said 15 when I actually picked it up, who's to say how much it actually is, because I can't see my ammo in the lower left hand corner, I did disable that, um, but, uh, we, we'll do some counting real quick, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nice, we got a 20 round magazine. All right, let's get the hell out of here, you guys, and move on to the next one. One kilometer out in the cover of darkness will be how we obtain this next one. It appears to be inside of the, I believe, uh, the, the industrial factory. Is this where we killed the brothers at, I think? I can't really remember. Uh, we've got a rebel radio uh, mission as well nearby, but I'm not going to be worrying about that. We'll just set the chopper down right here. Stay low so that we don't get, uh, you know, too much of a haircut. And let me see if I can figure out a way in here. I actually would just dig underneath there if I, if I had a shovel. That would be the easiest fucking way to do it. But I think we're going to have to find someplace else. Unidad, bird um, approach, stay down. Doesn't look like there's anything out there that I can utilize. And I don't think that the Unidad bird can see me effectively right now. So let me go ahead... Just take advantage of the darkness, and I'm going to try going in through the main gate. Might not be the best idea, but so far, I'm not seeing any sort of uh, any sort of enemy force. It looks like it's just the rebel radio that's right here, and I don't know if I'm too uh, keen on activating that right now. We also have a medication convoy coming by, um, so i got to be very careful with that. But for right now, we are just here for the TX. T5XI Tactical. That's what it is. This is going to be the best scope in the game. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys really quick here. Uh, where's that Unidad bird? It is going to be right up here. So there is the scope that I'm running right now. Let me go ahead and apply this other one really quick. Parts, scope, T5XI Tactical. This is going to be the longest scope in the game. Oh, come on, weapon. Render in. Render any second out. There we go. This is going to be one of the best scopes in the game. And I cannot wait to break this bad boy in. Looks like we've got another helicopter someplace over here. Probably escorting the um, uh, the convoy as it moves along. But we're not going to concern ourselves with that. There's a lot of resources here. I'm not too worried about them. However, though, you guys, I know a lot of people point out that I miss a lot of that stuff. But you got to admit, I've got a fuck ton of it. And I'm almost like fully loaded. So, like, I, I don't really need it. I kind of want to go for the main stuff. Now. 
This Mark 14 up here is something, or MK14, whatever you want to call it. It's something that I would like to get. Is it something that I think I'm going to use a lot? Maybe, no, not necessarily. I do have the other uh, sniper. However, the cool part about that particular gun is that it's long range and it has a three round burst um, at long range with accuracy. So what I think I'd like to do here is uh, is cruise up there. Not even going to take the chopper. I don't want to risk getting shot down. We'll collect that, and then we can go and finally nab ourselves some aviators, i.e. killing uh, Boston or whatever that... Boston Reed. There we go. I couldn't even remember his name. All I'm focused on here is the aviators. That's the end game. A cool pair of Ray-Bans. That's it. What the hell? It's just like sitting here out in the open. Uh, okay. Nobody's ever really... Oh, there are enemies close by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see them now. It took them a minute to pop out on the thing. It looks like it's just the one down there, and it looks like there's a lot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Team, yeah, I need you right here, and then I need you to hold, okay? I want you to stay. Yeah, stay there. Yeah, I know they're marked. I know they're marked. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take out one of these guys, right? Um, I'm gonna do it with my main weapon, but first, I'm gonna also call in a diversion. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and wait for them to get on site. I'm going to take out one of these guys, and then everybody's going to start shooting each other. Um, and I'm also going to try to pop this guy as quick as possible. Yeah, I don't want to hit any civs that's, uh, that are stationed right there. It looks like they're being held hostage or something like that. Where's my diversion? I need my diversion. I called my diversion in. I need it. It's got to be close by. Oh, there we go. Got some faction warfare. Okay. Faction warfare. Looks like he's dead. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I didn't want him to survive. He's down, and we've got one Unidad left. He's taken out, and it looks like we're going to be safe. Holy crap! I knew that was way too easy. <laughs> I didn't even see the, the diversion come in either. I, I just uh, I just all of a sudden noticed the, the enemies, like, saying suspected or whatever, and then they started popping up and moving around a little bit. Let's get this document down here, and let's get the hell out of here, you guys. It is sunrise! At least it's close to sunrise. It's closer to sunrise than it is to sunset. And me and my team are going to get the hell out of here. We'll set up for the Boston Reed takedown. All right, my friends, the sun is rising. We are here on the Salt Flats at Kiwani Bravo, staging up to go for Boston Reed. The very first mission is going to be straight across the way, I believe, at that uh, encampment someplace over there. Uh, it's, it's a makeshift airfield of sorts. Let me see if I can actually spot it from over here. Yeah, it looks like it's right in that direction. I'll take out the uh, the rifle. It's got the TX5 or T5XI. I keep saying that wrong. Um, and unfortunately, it looks like it's just out of the way with depth of field and everything like that. So we'll go ahead and move in and try to get a little bit more uh, idea of how the land is laid out over there. I really have no idea where we're going to go from here either. Hang on, um, I'll drive. It would appear that this may also be the final mission because when you look at the map, it says five out of six over here uh, when I actually have it highlighted, which means that I believe everything is going to take place here. So let's go ahead and uh, let's flip around and uh, let's get queued up to uh, head down that way and listen to the briefing. We've got a location and the code we need to draw Reed out of hiding. Let's set a trap for the son of a bitch and take him out. All right. All we have to do is make a phone call with the correct code so nobody suspects any wrongdoing. And then from there, we can take Boston Reed out very easily. It also sounds like he's going to be flying in. So for my secondary weapon, I've applied the HTI, um, which without a suppressor, obviously, is a one-shot to any helicopter or anything of the sort. Um, I can't cook grenades, so there's no way that I could just throw a grenade up into the air and, you know, have it explode next to the helicopter. So that's going to be the easiest way to take him out if he starts to fly. I think 500 meters is close enough for me. Let's go ahead and stop the vehicle and see if we can move in on foot. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of fog that we can work with. There is a little bit on the uh, on the very low level, you know, right next to the ground, but I was hoping for a little bit more. We'll just have to make it work as best as we possibly can. I can't see anybody rendering in right from here, but as we get closer, they should hopefully start to uh, start to pop up. It does look like we do have a thin layer of fog that's helping us out. Um, let me see here. I'm going to go ahead. Go prone and see what I can see. Looks like we have a chopper with a couple enemies that are out in the open. One moving. Uh, that's a heavy. Uh, let me see if I can. Yeah, I'm going to mark these guys. Uh, anybody over here got that guy right there. Nobody else that I can see immediately. Team, I'm going to go ahead and place you right here if you don't mind. I wish that you could change their camo so that way you could place them and put them prone. 
you know, with the appropriate camo so that nobody would actually see them. I think what I'll do from here is uh, I'm going to go... I'm going to go prone myself so that my team does go prone once they hit their position. And I'll mark everybody that I can with the drone. I could have taken that heavy out, but I wasn't sure, so I didn't jump on the opportunity. Because uh, I didn't know it really existed. Looks like we have a lot of enemies for this base. Um, and from what I can tell, that is everybody. Okay, so that guy is definitely isolated out there along with those two guys right here. We're going to try to take them out one by one. And then that way we'll be able to get to the smuggler's laptop easily. Uh, I don't know if there's really any better way to do this except to just move in cover to cover and try to get the best angles on these guys. Set up one big sink shot and then just drop them all as quick as possible. It looks like I might be able to get these guys as well. They haven't made me. So I'm going to get to 100 meters right about there and then I'm going to go and drop them with my primary. That's an easy shot from 100 meters. Okay, we're on semi-auto. Here we go. Both guys dead. Double tap both of them. Looks like the uh, the last heavy out here is also going to be uh, something of a straggler along with this fine fellow right here. So I think what I'll do is pop him in the neck and then get this guy, uh, with the long range. Yeah, I was going to say with three round burst, but no, I'm going to go long range with that guy. Fantastic. Okay, moving up. We've got a couple more heavies, a couple more guys. I think I'm going to set up for something of a, uh, of a sink shot very soon here. Uh, I'll need to take this heavy out as he gets a little bit closer to the other dead body. Oh, gosh. It may pop off right now. Yeah, you know what? It's going to pop off very soon here. If that guy sees anything... Everybody's marked. Okay, everybody's marked right now. So, I think... No, the heavy went the other way. Okay, so we can calm back down and try to assess the situation. Uh, there are some dead guys over there, so I think I might need to flop onto the other side. And let me see if I can pop this guy really quick. I still don't know where the laptop is. That's something that I need to find. Looks like they've dropped. Oh my god, the sink shot was still set up. Okay, so far nobody's seen anything. So I think I'll go three round burst on that guy and three round burst on that guy. Fantastic. All right, everybody is down, done, and out. And it looks like the laptop is right here. Let me go ahead and stack up on my ammo. Um, now, enter the code to signal read. Now, here's the thing. If memory serves, they said we were setting up a trap, right? And what is this but an airstrip? So I think what I'm going to do, you guys, before I send that code out, uh, is I'm going to go ahead and Demo's throw primed. a C4 for That's as C4 much primed. as I possibly can. Like, we're going to put down a bunch of C4. And actually, I don't even have the ability to throw more than two. So I think while I'm out here, it might not be a bad idea... To try Demo's and investigate. Let me see here. Okay, so we got that one. We'll do one right about Demo's here. Uh, let me investigate this really quick in the skills. If I go to my item, uh, my C4. Hell yeah, I want to upgrade the C4. I can't. I can do it again. Hell yeah, I want to do it again. All right, we got a lot of C4 now. I wonder if it actually gave me the C4. Yes, That's it did. <laughs> I don't need to go refill my ammo. It gave me the C4 when I upgraded it. All right, there we go. Demo's Fantastic. Primed. Now we have this entire place rigged to blow, ready to go. My team, I'm going to go ahead and put them right over there and let them uh, close distance because they're obviously still way the fuck out there from that sink shot. Thank God nobody missed because that was... that. I forgot that that was going to happen um, and, uh, and, and it, it could have gone very bad. I'll just wait for my team to get a little bit closer before I call this in, you guys. I don't know how exactly it's going to pop off. But I think what I might do here, actually, and let me also see, do I have any, I, well, I just refilled, so of course I have some. I'm going to throw the C4 uh, onto this chopper right here, and I think if there's anything else, yeah, onto that truck over there and this car over here. This whole place is just going to blow up when I want it to, because I don't know where they're going or what they're doing, but all I know is that I don't even want them to have any ways out. I want no resources for them left around uh, to cash in on. Everything is going to go boom when they land. Everything is going to go boom and now that my team is in position we can go ahead and send now. the code reed should be receiving the signal let's get Show reed down here second. set up for the ambush set up for the fucking ambush here we go you guys all right my team is in position and actually i think i might be able to put them uh in a little bit better of a put you know what no i actually don't mind that right there i hear a chopper i literally hear a chopper and you know that that's him you know that's him that's got to be him Targeting coming Get ready. Okay, I don't see him, but I do definitely hear the chopper. Um, come on, where is he? I hear him. Oh, 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 oh! I got eyes on him. I got eyes on him. There he is, right there. 
Is he flying it? I think he might be flying it. All right, let me go ahead and go prone here. And then that way my team will go prone over there. And hopefully they don't see me where I'm at. I'm in a pretty damn good position. And I think I'm also going to take my suppressor off for this shot. Because if I if Boston I have to take this shot... Hiding himself and his operation. Yeah. From what we've seen of the cartel, he's got some of the best offsec out of all of them. Yep. But he likes to flaunt how good he is at moving product. Sooner or later, he's going to find out that we're looking for him. Like right the now? Is, will he go to ground? Or will he think he's hot shit and do this thing anyway? We all know pilots like this. They think being reckless is the same thing as having a pair of heavy balls. He's not going to stop. He's going to stop when I pull the trigger, believe me. Like, <laughs> he's... This, but the only thing that his helicopters do is going to go down. Like, that's it. Oh, my God. It looks like he's bringing company with him. He is definitely bringing down, company here. Down, yeah, no shit, dude. Okay. He's brought company with him in the form of vehicles. Uh, I don't know how many people are in those vehicles. I think they might be clearing the base out right now. Let me go ahead and deploy a drone real quick, and let me see if I can get some intel. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yeah, we've got a lot of enemies here. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do, you guys. It's popping off. We're going to go with a mortar strike directly on them, okay? Right on the vehicles. Actually, let me let me uh, check on the back one. Uh, no, I think I'm going to go on the... F I, well, the weird thing is, is that, like, it's, like, snapping... It's like snapping to him. I wanted to go. I don't want to hit like both of them. I or I want to hit both of them. I want to hit in the middle of them. What if I did it more off to the side? Yeah, there we go. That's where I want it. Okay, so we've got mortars coming in. I'm gonna go ahead and take the rifle out. Goodbye, Boston Reed. See you later, motherfucker. Bye bye. And blowing everything up. Here we go. Bowman, Boston Reed is no longer on the playing board. Should have seen the human trafficking angle. It's been a big problem here for a long while. Of course, someone in Santa Blanca is gonna bloody his paw with it. We stopped Boston Reed and freed a few innocent folks. It's a good day. Better than others, anyway. Bowman out. All right, we got one guy there. We've reported that uh, Boston Reed is dead. Fortunately, though, I'm still gonna need to take some of these guys out. Oh shit! I need to reload. Okay, we're pushing up with the with the primary. Eliminating Reed has disrupted the entire smuggling network. Both dead. By two thirds, holy oh, shit. The data you got from the tricycle is allowing us to map the entire operation from beginning to end. Oh, Once nice. We have everything. We'll notify law enforcement across the border and coordinate a series of raids. It'll be a disaster. The locals, too. Santa Blanca employed a hell of a lot of people to operate those trucks. Yeah. That's above my pay grade. You want to put people to work? Try the Peace Corps. Ah, uh, Bowman! That in mind. Nomad out. Bowman. Sure, Bowman. Up here. Oh my gosh, what a run, you guys. We did it. We killed Boston Reed. Oh, actually, you know, one thing that I have to do... I'm sorry, I gotta go do this. Part of the fucking game, practically. Where is he? Is he in here? Nope, he burned up. All right, yeah, he just totally burned up. Wait a minute, no, that wasn't his. His was over here. I've gotta confirm it. I gotta confirm it. You always gotta confirm it. All right, let's see here. Is that Boston Reed in the... in the? Yeah, that's definitely him. Is he wearing his fucking aviators? I gotta make sure not to shoot those. No, I already grabbed him. All right, Boston Reed is dead. Definitely dead, so let's get the hell out of here, you guys. And actually, you know what? On the way out, on the way out, I, I can't even, I can't even resist. Let me go into uh, clothes and let me take this bad boy off. And uh, let me go to accessories. Uh, let me take that bad boy off. Let me go to headwear. Let me take that bad boy off. Let me go to eyewear. And let me go ahead and put these bad boys on. Oh, yeah. Aviators, baby! Oh, come on. Update, update, update. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Let's fucking go, you guys. Finally, we got a decent pair of sunglasses that I can wear wherever I go. And uh, I don't know where exactly um, the winds of wild lands are going to take me next. I do believe, though, uh, that it's going to be one of the surrounding provinces. We have uh, Romanzo, uh, which is all open and ready to go. We even have a mission loaded up for that one. And San Mateo, both of those are going to be very enjoyable, I think, um, for the next ones to tackle. And then from there, I think we'll go down, uh, into the southeastern corner and start tackling some of these. Um, I'm also going to try to tackle, uh, maybe, uh, Caimanes before I start taking on the higher level ones. I might do Pukara on stream or something like that. I don't know, because we still have a lot to do in the game, you guys. There's still so much to do. We've got Moho Yoko, uh, we've got Pukara, Malka, Floro de Oro, uh, Libertad, Caimanes, 
uh, Espiritu Santo, and I believe that that is actually it with the exception of these two over here, Romanzo and San Mateo, and Barvechos! We still haven't done Barbecho, so we still have a lot to do in the game, you guys. It has been an absolute blast thus far. And let me just say also uh, that while I mark the uh, the fast travel location, Rally Point, rather, um, I, I've i been, like, I, I've been really, really having a lot of fun getting back into YouTube. I know I do this every now and again at the end of episodes. I feel like the people who watch until the end are the ones that, you know, would like to hear this kind of stuff. And I just want to say that, like, I've been having such a good time this, this the break that i took you know a little while ago like you know eight days ago before i came back or something like that i just it i wasn't far off you know of where i was when i first started being a youtuber however just having that break and being able to play wildlands on the console it it totally just i mean it, it's I, I don't know it was like that it's like a little vacation from your nine to five job that you love. It just resets you and rejuvenates you. And I have had a blast going through Kawani with you guys up here. It's been so much fun. And I've got the aviators now that I get to wear, you know, through every mission practically. I get to put them on all my outfits. I'm really, really looking forward to getting back uh, into uh, into the the southern part of the of the map because there's a lot of cool stuff down there. And I don't even know what these areas look like. As you can see, I've never even been there before, so I'm very excited. There's still a lot of uncharted ground to cover. The future is bright with this game, you guys, and I want to thank you for supporting it and loving it as much as I do. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this one. Please, if you made it this far, consider leaving a like down below. Support the series, and I will catch all of you in the next one. So, friends, if you enjoy what you see, and only if, leave a little love in the comment section or leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the rest of whatever the hell comes next. And as usual, enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you guys again.